Don't know what day it is. We got a game called, we haven't even come up with the name yet. Uh, uh, hockey, hockey, hockey toss, Failure. cornhole. Today we got Brendan Lemieux from the LA Kings. We got the Colony House, two of the four members. We got Will and Caleb Chapman right here. And we got Jack Roslevic from the Columbus Blue Jackets. And uh, yeah, you two played together. So on Winnipeg before you both got traded, yeah. right? Yeah, we were roommates. Rules of the game. First outer ring is one point. Second ring is two. Inside the green is three. In the red garbage can, I guess you'd, you'd call it. 10 points. He's, he's, he's my right hand man on my left side. Uh, team name. The Bag Boys? Yeah, the team, the Bag Boys. Team name is going to have to be uh, 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 Bag Daddies. Uh, and... <laughs> bag Daddies. What's our team name? RK17. Perfect. We're gonna play to 11. Kind of nervous here, boys. Go. Oh. Oh. oh, what a bounce. Stop! Oh. Hey, no backspin. Oh. 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 That, might be, that might need to be a point, though, man. That's, yeah. that's the, the table, table, dude. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh. oh, that was a money shot, though, if it didn't All hit right. the shot, didn't hit the uh, chair. First non hockey player. Yeah, like that. Sit. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh that's my high. teammate. God, I, I watch the Mighty Ducks, dude. Gordon Bomb. This one's. <laughs> this one's for Gordon Bombay. Bombay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what? This is a minor setback for a major comeback. So you guys, are you guys pretty particular about like guitars? No, I play a $150 guitar that I I accidentally bought off eBay, and I bid on it. And I got an email that was like, you won for 150 bucks. And it's one of those, I have guitars that are, you know, guitars that I shouldn't be playing because they're, they're too nice. And for whatever reason, I always pick that one up. Like, that's really? the one that I don't, I don't think about beating up too much. Well, so you actually set up the drummer. At right on the front, front of, the of the stage. So we're Not in the middle. The I'm in the middle. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So is there any other group that does that, that puts the drummer to the side? Yeah, there's a handful of I think, handful out there that do it. We've just, com we committed to it. I personally like it because I like connecting with the, the audience better. When was, when was your guys' last live show with the whole Great COVID? Great question. The last, like, the last Colony House show about halfway through the pandemic in October, where in all our dead space, we made a movie, like a documentary about our, like, literally just us. We took all this old footage, we did this, like, out west trip um, in our van to like capture all this you know music videos and photos and just it was like a super small crew like five of us and we had all this footage from that it started coming together became an actual like documentary and we you know people were doing these drive-in concerts and so in our hometown we found this epic property and like premiered our film and like 2,000 people from like New York LA San Diego People all came in, and we had probably our most epic show yeah, we've tight. ever done in the middle of all of this. So it's making the most of a, a gnarly time. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I, I always felt the, mo the most bad for the rookies, you know, playing their, their rookie year in front of no fans. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I'm like, performing is what musicians are, you know, yeah. most of them at least, I, I think, they enjoy the most, is putting music out and seeing people's reaction yeah. to their music. So what would have actually sucked worse if it was your rookie season? or your, your retiring season, Whoa. last yeah, season? I got out just in time. That's a great question. I saw uh, Ryan Miller's last game. Oh yeah. It was like 10% capacity. Cause you know, like when guys retire, especially when they're like a staple of a franchise, they get emotional. I remember and it's when like, like loud the, and yeah. like. Remember when the Sedins retired? Yeah, like yeah, that like stuff. That like was people I usually do that. a lap. It was the hardest year to play in. Yeah. With no fans. Imagine. Like some nights you, you put your gear on and you were just like, this is, like, Feels like a scrimmage, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I never got the privilege to play with no fans. <laughs> <laughs> so how's Nashville as far as like people nowadays? Crazy. Like, are there a lot of musicians in Nashville? Like too many almost? It's cool though. It's got a good, like as far as the artist side of things, like everyone talks about the different vibes of like New one. York, LA, and Nashville as far, from the like music side of things, music industry. And Nashville's just got a good like camaraderie vibe about it. Just people, artists encouraging artists, like lifting each other up. It's probably a little bit of the Southern <laughs> hospitality vibe. And yeah, you guys got any friends on Fred's team? Ah, uh, I know a couple. 
couple I don't get along with. Exactly. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> Over. That's a walk off. Let's just put it this way. That's that's like a pitcher hitting a walk off in baseball. That's like a backup goalie lacing it up and taking the penalty shot and going in and scoring. The bag boys won. We're speechless. It happens. <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Kobe Armstrong from uh, Sportsnet. Um, run me through that last play. You know I. Uh, I just launched it. Okay, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy, eh? Next time, Rick. Next time, yeah. man.